Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. AICP Android Ice Cold project is what we are going to look at today. We're going to look at the installation and first impressions of this ROM and in the coming days you will be having a look at similar things for four different ROMs including today so that makes it five. So we will have a lot of things coming up on this channel at least as far as the OnePlus 5T is concerned and there are other devices planned as well. Now this particular ROM it's it's a beautiful ROM and I have a thing for it because back in the day when the Z series was brand new, I had ported this ROM myself to the Xperia Z1 and the same is still visible on my XDA signature. So back then it was one great ROM and it's been like four or five years, maybe at least three years, I have not gone ahead and tried this ROM. How good is it for the OnePlus 5T? I really don't know, but I like the fact that they are giving daily updates so they are in a nightly schedule and every single day there is a new build coming up which promises faster fixes and a lot of faster updates as well without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials let's go ahead and preview android ice cold project for the oneplus 5t All right, so right now we are on Liquid Remix and we're gonna to go to Android Ice Cold Project. So I have the files ready. We will need the ROM file, Google Apps, and we will need the open beta firmware in case you're coming from Nougat or something else. So without further ado, let's boot into TWRP. So we'll press and hold the power button. We'll select Advanced Reboot and it will directly boot into recovery. So as I said, this ROM is not so new. I've had uh, quite a lot of experience with this particular ROM. I've used it in the past. I ported it myself for the Sony Xperia Z1 back in the day and it used to run, really, I guess it was Android 5.1.1 lollipop at that point of time. But right now it's running off Android 8.1.0. So there we have it. TWRP is ready. So we will go to wipe, advanced wipe. Dalvik cache system data. We won't wipe internal storage because that's where our files are. It's not even necessary. Okay, so the wipe is complete. Uh, to be safe, not required, but we will first install firmware, then the ROM, then GIS. So you can select all the three or four zips together and TWRP will flash them in one go. So right now we are flashing the firmware okay and this is AICP right now while this is done I would like to ask you guys a few questions uh, you guys have been watching a lot of custom ROM videos a lot of more videos in the comments section while this is done go ahead and type right now just let me know which ROM are you running right now are you running a stable with root stable without root with a lock bootloader just for fun, just go ahead and mention because I want to see how many of y'all are actually, you know, diving into the world of custom ROMs. So that should give me a fair idea. Now, I guess we are flashing open G apps. Also, the OnePlus 6 launch is imminent. It should come in the month of June. How many of you are excited? How many of you are planning to go to OnePlus 6 directly and stuff like that? And uh, I would like a, you know, few, pointers or feedback from you guys on my vlogs most of you seem to like it and uh, from today basically the audio and the video quality should be better as well because we've upgraded our DSLR we've upgraded our mic and I think you all can already see the difference so after this particular video we will be covering dirty unicorns and lineage OS 15 at the same time we will be covering CR droid so those are the three different videos coming up I have a few different plans. Okay, before we talk about plans, the ROM has been flashed. There were no errors. We're gonna wipe cache in Dalvik and we're gonna reboot into system and I will see the beautiful boot animation of Android Ice Cold Project after a long, long time. All right, 
so we are in AICP and we have booted up I have skipped through the setup menu and I've selected trebuchet launcher and this is how it looks so initial impressions this is the first time I'm using AICP based on Android 8.0 now one look at the app drawer and you clearly come to know that this is a custom ROM and a lot of things are not there basically the bloatware is not there so that is a very very good thing we will start with AICP extras so this, this is basically something similar to Liquid Lounge wherein you have to customize things. So go to status bar, you can enable the AICP logo, you have tap to sleep. So you can enable the battery bar if you wish to. Now at the same time if you go back you have tap to sleep, battery bar, Bluetooth battery status, this is something new, voice over LTE icon, so I'm using a voice over LTE SIM. So it will go ahead and show you the voice over LTE icon. Status bar notification ticker, you can enable that. Smart pull down is there. Carrier label, you can disable or enable the carrier label. So you can go to notifications. Okay, so this is, I don't know why is this blank. I don't think it is supposed to be that way, but then again, probably they'll add that feature. Yeah, this is a placeholder as it is mentioned uh, in the settings menu. So you can go to quick settings, you have music, tile, track, title, scroll small qs styles qs footage warning so this is a lot of customization compared to the previous liquid rom that we have seen you have recent lock screen navigation bar do they have fling yeah they have fling there you go that's how fling works so let's go back let's go back to aicp extras so then we have something called as panel pawn so this basically gives you an option to customize your volume dialog power menu so you can go ahead and customize those as well which is a really really nice touch apart from that we have weather service settings and then we have other ui tweaks what do we have in other ui tweaks uh we have screenshot three finger gesture is there swap volume buttons playback control launch music icon and show ZP, CPU info and a lot of other things. So toast icon and stuff like that is also there. Talking about further customization, you have animations. So you can customize the system animations. There you go. And then you have update center. You can check if there are OTAs available. Okay, system update found, I guess. They might have just released an, up, released an update. This is basically a weekly update that is fine we will go ahead and download and install it later so that is aicp extras for you guys and uh, now apart from this uh, let's let's see what else we have we have audio effects so you can customize the audio output there and then we have the camera let me have a look at the camera how good it is let me just give you at least the first impressions remaining i'll cover in so let's click a picture Okay, that was quick. Okay, it's really, really snappy compared to the build of liquid that I was using. And this is, uh, okay, so I don't seem to find portrait mode. These are different filters. This is basically a selfie camera. So the camera, at least apart from the portrait mode, everything else works. Uh, later, maybe I will give the gcam mod a try so that was the camera for you guys uh, apart from the camera what else do we have here we have gallery gmail music and all the usual, usual stuff so let's go to settings here so the usual android 8.1 settings and aicp extras is here as well so you can access it from here as well that's a good touch uh, security and location system okay status bar okay so there's some customizations in settings system as well so you have button options as well so that is a good touch you have gestures over here so overall it looks like a pretty pretty decent rom but then again the final verdict on it i can only tell you once i use it so you know that was the install and first look at android ice cold project for the oneplus 5t guys uh, I cannot tell you the battery stats and stuff, but then again, yes, it, it looks like a pretty decent ROM. They've done a good job with it. I will be missing portrait mode and uh, uh, 
let me just do a quick test if dash charge works or not i don't have a wall socket near the camera but then again at least i will check and i'll let you know all right so looks like i'm glad i did that test because what happened is uh, the always on display that you see here it does display that the phone is charging so i don't know if it's a bug or maybe an oversight by aicp team but if you guys are watching it probably you guys have been already reported about this the charging indicator is not working even on lock screen it doesn't give me any indication if it's dash charging or normal charging just on the always on display it uh, shows that it is charging so i will test that i will test this rom at a later time now i will be doing reviews on a few more roms before i actually use one as my daily driver so that was android high school project for you guys if you like this video like share and subscribe and uh, we will be continuing this series tomorrow probably we will flash dirty unicorn or lineage os 15.1 so share your comments share the video and don't forget the giveaway for the xiaomi redmi 5a is still on and uh, if the channel makes it to 4000 subscribers by the end of february we will have a winner thank you for your time bye